Now, call me crazy, but aren't horses gorgeous? I know I'm weird, but seriously, they're beautiful, majestic creatures, and it's no wonder that they're so loved. And if you're not convinced, I promise I can change your mind, because these equine beauties could be models. These are the 20 most beautiful horses on planet Earth. Number 20. Frisian Horse do you desire a horse that you can look at and say, yep, yeah, that's a pretty fine steed? If so, then the Frisian horse is one that you may want to take a gander at. Frisian horses are majestic animals with great size and color, and these animals have the desired temperament and athletic ability to perform very well in dressage, which many people will use to their advantage in shows. But more importantly, it's just a great looking horse altogether. This amazing horse looks like typical horse until he turns his head. There are many who do enjoy watching this horse trot along the fields and other areas because it looks really good while doing it. They love the flowing mane and tail, and some even feel that it's a horse from a fairy tale. Oh, and that black coat? Well, that is by design. The people who breed these horses intentionally make it so that the black coat is the dominant trait that you'll find in the species. There used to be other coats you'd see, but they have long been weeded out, so much so that if you were to get a Frisian horse of a different color, you could not register them for breeding. The Frisian temperament is typically friendly, easygoing, and willing to please. Their versatility is one of their hallmarks, and as such can make a very useful family horse should you need one. And if you feel like you've seen this kind of horse before, well, you likely have. They're so popular and beautiful in the eyes of many that they've been used in film for many years. If there's a downside to this horse, it would be that it is a species that is known to contract various diseases. That's largely due to how they've been bred and cared for, and some of the more nefarious inside methods that their owners have used to produce worthy offspring. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. A Call Tiki Horse we now go from a lady that dedicates her life to making horses beautiful to a horse species that is hailed as the most beautiful horse breed on the planet. That would be the Akale Tiki Horse, and it's a high bar to clear, yet this horse is one that clears it. The reason that so many people adore this horse is due to its spectacular coat and slender morphology. It's also suitable for a wide variety of equestrian disciplines, excelling especially in endurance races and full riding competitions. That also means that whoever is riding the horse is going to be showing off to the crowd how beautiful their steed is as they get around. But wait, there's more. This spectacular horse has quite a lineage as it's a horse that's been used in combat over the years by various nations. It's even believed that Alexander the Great himself once had one of these horses and rode it into battle. So if Alexander the Great thinks that it was something of quality, well then sure enough it should be known as quality. This horse is of Turkish origin with a very good racing ability, great movement, a great jumper, and endurance that deserves to be noted. Not every breed of horse can survive the various endurance races that go on in the world, so if this breed is hailed as one of the best at what it does, well that means something. But here's where the rub comes in. Despite us knowing many of the cultures that have used the horse, no one really knows where it came from in the first place. This was not a horse to be bred as a racer, jumper, or war horse. It was just built that way naturally. And that fact has led some to believe that this is simply a horse of mythological quality. Some even call it the celestial horse. So if you do get one of these horses for yourself, you should know that you have done quite well. Number 18. The Appaloosa Horse Let's shift gears for a moment and focus on a horse that has more of an odd appearance that people tend to love, because when you picture your classic horse breeds, you probably think about how they're strong and striking and tend to only have one or two colors on them, but with the Appaloosa Horse, they have several colors and spots that make them almost look like a mishmash of things versus a regular horse breed. Yet people do love them 
showing once again that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Besides their striking appearance, Appaloosas are well known for being gentle, friendly, and loyal companions. They tend to be very eager to please, which makes them a great horse breed for horse lovers, no matter how long that you've had horses yourself. That means that if you're just starting out raising horses, this one is a good one to have. While the horse is very popular in North America, they were not born there. Rather, the Spanish brought them over, and when the Native American tribes known as the Nez Perce saw them, they were quite impressed and then decided to breed them. Sadly, because they were one of the pride and joys of the Native American culture, when the United States government began to invade their lands and take over, many of the horses were killed, which led to this breed almost going extinct. Thankfully, though, by the 1930s, people had seen the error of their ways, and they brought together the remaining Appaloosa horses to create a preservation and registry that still endures to this day. And if you were to get one today, you could use it for various things, which includes leisurely riding along with hard labor. So we should all be grateful that this species did not die out, or else a very unique and reliable horse may well be gone from the face of the earth. Number 17. The Arabian Horse While it's true that every nation and culture has their specialties that they're good at versus others, there are a few that stand out above the rest, even in the best of cases. For example, when it comes to horses, few can top the way that the Arabian people treat their equine friends, and for proof of this, you need only to look at the Arabian horses that they covet over virtually every other horse in the world. This horse is special to them because it's been with their people for thousands of years. Some even think that the earliest people within the Arabian tribes had found these horses and then worked with them to create the culture that now exists. Now, these horses have been bred throughout the years, and those that raised them ensured that they could handle the intense desert heat and could go long distances if asked. The horses were used for transportation, hauling loads, and war mounting. Surprised that were these horses that some keepers brought them into their family's tents at night for warmth and protection. Think about that. They knew that these horses were precious and valuable, and they wanted nothing to happen to them. After having them for so long, the Arabian horse breed eventually became one that was spread out across the world, and some of the most important figures in history would eventually own one of these horses. These included the likes of Genghis Khan, Napoleon Bonaparte, George Washington, and Alexander the Great, all of whom are legendary leaders who won their battles on horseback. If you still need further proof about how the Arabian is revered, well, you need only to look at the religion of Islam. Within its religious texts, the Prophet Muhammad said to treat the horses very well. Number 16. The Horse Barber if there's one thing that can absolutely be said about humanity, it's that if they think that they can make something prettier or shinier or overall more pleasing to their eyeballs, well, they're absolutely going to do it. Case in point, this amazing horse looks like typical horse until he turns his head. Why is that? Because when you look at its head and the rest of its body, you'll see that someone did a certain something to its coat of hair. By combining two of her passions, Melody Hames produces some of the most unexpected and spectacularly designed horses in the world. Dubbed the Horse Barber, the design graduate set up her own business clipping creative artwork into the hair of horses. Now, that's definitely a unique choice, and when you look at some of the designs that she puts onto the horses, you're going to see that she doesn't do anything halfway. She basically sculpts the horses to look a certain way hair-wise and she's not afraid to get very creative. In fact, she noted that of all of her designs are unique to the horse, so you won't see two that are exactly alike. Now, to be clear, this was not some random idea that she simply came up with. She used to take care of a pony that suffered from a disease that would not allow it to shed properly. So, she eventually thought of helping the horse by doing these kind of designs so that it would keep some of its hair while looking fabulous in the process. And lest you think that people would be put off by this notion, Melody was later hired to not only make custom horses for certain celebrities and celebrations, but she's also been invited overseas to teach other people how to do it. Now, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so I'm sure that some of you won't like it, 
but it's hard to deny that she's clearly very good at what she does and that she's willing to put the time and effort into things in order to make it work. Number 15. The Gypsy Vanner Horse As noted in the introduction, many horse breeds were created so that they could fulfill a certain task. In the case of the Gypsy Vanner Horse, that task was to make a horse that could help the gypsies of Great Britain move their caravans around. And if you've ever seen a movie with a gypsy caravan, you know that those things were not exactly small. What's more, since they would be working with these horses for basically their entire lives, they needed one that would easily be able to be taken care of, gentle to their owners, and could be trained quite quickly so that they could get to work. However, this was not a case of natural species. Like many horses on the list, it was bred to life using many different horses. These gypsies carefully bred their ideal horses, relying on the Shire and Clydesdale for their size and strength, and then incorporating the Dale's Pony and the Fell Pony into the bloodlines. It would take quite a time, but their perfect horses eventually emerged and have now become a staple of the world as we know it. You may notice that these horses are smaller than you should expect, but the trade-off is that they're stockier and able to handle heavy loads. So in this case, they lose size in one area, but make up for it in another. While their role with the gypsies has long since ended, they're still used for things like pulling carriages and being racehorses, showing that it's multi-talented and that gypsies knew what they were doing when they bred this equine. Number 14. Halflinger Horse when you picture a horse, you would likely think of one that is large in size and able to hang on to a human or two for long gallops across the plains. However, there are small horse species that can do just as well as their larger counterparts. The Halflinger horse is one such equine. These small horses are athletic and multi-talented. They excel in dressage, jumping, trail riding, driving, and more. And equally as important, they are kind horses, which is why both kids and adults can use them without fear of getting bucked off. Plus, while they are small, they do have plenty of strength within them. So, them carrying you or someone else would not be that much of an issue. And if you're curious as to how this species came to be, it's because the people of Italy and Austria needed a horse that would help them to go up the Tyrolean mountains. Those mountains had very narrow passes, and yet people had to go up with heavy cargo. So thus, a horse was needed that could traverse the expanse without becoming tired and while holding a large load. Due to a little luck, they did find the perfect horse that eventually became the base player for the Halflinger horse species. It's had many uses over the years and continues to be popular even to this day. So while you may desire a large horse for you or your family, don't be afraid to get these more compact horses and give them a try because they may just end up surprising you. Number 13. Nabstrupper Horse if you do enjoy the look of a nice spotted horse, then the Nabstrupper horse is the one for you. If you look at enough Nabstrupper horses, you'll see that they do range in just how spotted they are. Some of them may look like Dalmatians or even leopards with their coats, while others have more stretched spots that give them an entirely different feel. Now, in the West, these horses are relatively new, as they did not cross the Atlantic until the 2000s. However, their origins, thanks to cave paintings trace well back to the prehistoric spotted equines that are native to today's Spain. That's right, they've been around for quite some time, and people have been drawn to them for as long as that as a result. Granted, they did need to go through some transformations over the years, which included a modern one that took place in 1812, which would eventually lead to the form that you see today. This horse was amongst the most highly sought-after breeds in Europe for decades, until the 1870s when this rare gene pool then began facing issues related to inbreeding. To add to their woes, a fire broke out much later that almost almost wiped out the species, but thankfully, people came together to bring it back to prominence. Fast forward to today, and they're used for all sorts of things, and the ponies are especially beloved by children. Likely because they've never seen a spotted horse like this before, and one thing that cannot be denied is that they are quite a very unique looking horse. Number 12. Marwari Horse 
Given how popular horses are, you would think that it's odd to find one that can be truly labeled as rare, but as in all things, there is a reason for such classifications, and the Marwari horse is one such example. This rare horse was brought to the world from India, and one look at them will make you notice their odd ears. They are curved inward, which is not something that you would expect from a horse. This shape of ears is unique to the Indian horse breed and has made them a desired export for horse enthusiasts from all around the world. Marwari horse temperament is generally considered to be easygoing and calm, but there are some exceptions known since Marwari horses can also be hot-tempered once in a while. so you'll definitely want to be careful if you come across one. Now we'll address the elephant-shaped horse in the room. Why are these horses so rare? Well, simply put, there was once a large demand for them, but then that demand fell through due to desires for better horses. Then the ones that remained were poorly cared for and bred, so their numbers would fall even more. However, like others on this list, a group of people came together to figure out a way to save the population, and they did just that. But it also goes to show you that, like other animals, just because something is in demand at one time does not mean it'll be in demand forever. So, if these species are not taken care of, regardless of their demand, a species could end up getting close to extinction, something that we as a race should not want for any animal. Number 11. The Norwegian Fjord Horse the Norwegian Fjord horse is considered to be one of the oldest and most pure breeds of horse. While they do bear a striking resemblance to the Asiatic wild horse and other horses like it, they are in fact related to a wild European horse known as the Tarpon. As for how old they are, many would consider their breed to be traced back to about 4,000 years ago, if not longer. It's believed that the species migrated to Norway, and it was there that they became domesticated. After that, they were bred by cultures such as the Vikings to be their war horses and work horses that they needed to expand themselves across Europe. And once the time of Vikings would be over, the horse then became a farming horse for people in Norway and were very helpful in their work. However, at one point in time, they were almost dubbed to be obsolete. That's because they were crossbred with a dole, and the result seemed to be a better horse. However, as the generations went on, the crossbred wasn't as favorable as immediately believed, and so they went back to liking the fjord. Going to show that the shiny new toy is not always the one that you want. The fjord is a striking horse, and it should be very clear to see why the Norwegian people like them so much. Number 10. Orlov Trotter Horse if you were to head over to Russia once upon a time, you would very easily be able to see the Orlov Trotter Horse. It was a prized breed by many, with a combination of speed, strength, stamina, and an agreeable temperament. This versatile horse is a great choice for many riders. And if you're waiting for the shoe to drop, well, I will happily drop it for you. The horse is another rare breed. This time, it's because of the various wars and shifting in powers within Russia, and the horse is not maintained like it once was. However, some farms were able to come together to help to save this horse, and now over a dozen of them exist to ensure the survival of the species. Which is a good thing, because these horses are not only beautiful, but they can also do many tasks that would help out a human owner. Number 9. Percheron Horse do you want a horse that is both large in size, can get lots of things done, but is also incredibly kind and gentle to you and your family? Well, then look no further than the Percheron horse which has been labeled the gentle giant by many within the business. Believe it or not, these horses were used in war, and then they were put to work as draft horses, and eventually settled down into the more standard work and competition settings that many horses find themselves in today. Also, they're very popular in crossbreeding because they can create some unique combinations of equine depending on whom you partner them with. Their direct origins are unknown, but eventually the French would get a hold of them and use them in cavalry. And after they came to the West, they became popular with farmers until modern machinery would take over. Even so, the horse is still very loved to this day. Number 8. Pinto Horse 
The Pinto horse is a striking figure due to its painted design, so it is quite a unique looking horse. It's believed that the Pinto horses, because of their striking spotted patterns, were selectively bred in ancient Egypt, Rome, and then transported to the New World by the Spanish and Portuguese explorers. which is not unfeasible given how many horse species ended up where they are now. If you took a look at these various pictures of the pinto horse, you would see that each one is painted quite differently, making it a very unique horse just for you if you do get one. Number 7. The Rocky Mountain Horse now, I've already shown you many worldly horses, but some of you are likely wondering if any breeds were born or developed in the United States. The answer would, of course, be yes, and the Rocky Mountain Horse is one such equine. However, the name may be just a little bit deceiving. The horse did not come from the Rocky Mountain area, but from the south. It would eventually be brought to the north and bred to help out people of the Appalachian Mountains. And so that may be one reason why it's called the Rocky Mountain Horse. The people of Appalachia had to work hard just to survive, so they had these horses plowing their fields, herding their cattle, and pulling their buggies. However, their numbers would plummet once the machines arrived. Doesn't sound that unfamiliar now, does not Thankfully, once again, people did pull together to help the species, and the numbers have since been growing. Number 6. The Shire Horse the Shire Horse is one that is of British origin. They usually come in black, bay, or gray, and they can be quite tall. They have at various times held world records for both being the largest horse and the tallest horse, and they do have a great capacity for work. And one traditional use for this horse may have actually inspired a plethora of Budweiser beer commercials. That's because the horse was used for pulling brewer's drays for the delivery of beer, And today, some of them are still used this way. Others can be seen use in writing, in commercial promotion, and even in forestry. It was bred and established in the mid-18th century, and although the origins are much older, a breed society was formed in 1876, and then in 1878, the first stud was published in the book. The horse would go through a long and storied history, much like many of the other horses on this list. But then, by the 1970s, it began to be revived through increased public interest. Breed societies were established all over the world, and then in 1996, the first World Shire Horse Congress would be held. The first use within the breed of artificial insemination through frozen semen was then with several Australian mares in 1997. The breed has seen a resurgence since then, and these days it can be found being used as a popular horse for both forestry and leisurely riding. Number 5. Trachiner Horse to be frank, there are plenty of horse owners out there that want nothing more than for their horse to be athletic, to do various tasks for shows and competitions. One breed that they'll often look into for this is the Trachiner horse because it's one of the most athletic horses out there. These horses are so good at what they do, in fact, that once their competition days are over, they are then brought to horse riding schools where they help young riders to learn the ropes. Today, the Trachiner horse is known as a worldwide species, and they're bred for various purposes well beyond competition. However, it should be noted that the Germans apparently breed the best versions of this horse, so keep that in mind if you want to get one. Number 4. The Icelandic Horse of course, the irony of Iceland is that it's not actually a land that's full of ice, just like Greenland is not a place that is lush and beautiful in the traditional sense. The Vikings really loved to screw with people, but when it came to their horses, they did know their stuff. The Icelandic horse isn't just a horse that they had, it's one that they had for over a thousand years. It's so popular in the nation that it's a national treasure along with a symbol of their country, and it's even affected Norse mythology and culture. When it came to breeding these horses, the Vikings knew that they had to have the best of the best, so they selected them as such. Believe it or not, they still do have a tight grip on the horse and its breeding policies, to the extent that if you own an Icelandic horse, you can only have it leave the country one time, which is quite a unique rule for a horse. Number 3. Soraya Horse 
The Soraya horse is a very special one due to its history. While unconfirmed, there are many who believe that this horse is one that is the last of its kind from the land of Iberia. Just as important, many people did not really look for or know about this horse until the 1920s. It would be then that someone discovered these equine beauties and then decided to show them off. After raising his own herd and studying them, many would agree that these horses helped develop certain other breeds of horse that are out there in the world today. The Soraya horse is small but hardy and well adapted to the often harsh conditions in which it evolved to survive. Sadly though, it's another horse that has required massive conservation efforts and the species is not out of the woods yet. Number 2. Andalusian Horse now, this is a horse species that is rather majestic, and I'm sure that many of you will fall for the Andalusian horse as you look upon these pictures and clips of it. One of the reasons that people love this horse so much is that it goes beyond the basics of looks. It's a horse that almost revels in the chance to adapt to new things and to try new tasks. And this is a species that has worked in harsh mountain conditions and also competed in dressage. When you have a horse that can do all of those things, it does become quite popular. And when you add the natural beauty of the horse, you then get an equine that many people desire. And that's true even to this day. Number 1. Lipizzaner Horse as we end our list with a horse that I probably mangled the pronunciation of, it's fair only to talk about a horse that has meant a great deal to the people who have bred it and raised it to be great. This horse is a prized treasure of the Slovenian people, and you can witness its importance throughout their culture. For example, they have these horses on some of their coins, and it's apparently part of the people's identity to get one of these horses. What's more, they are a rare breed that has a pedigree that cannot be ignored. They were specifically bred to be as they are, elegant, regal, and perfect for competition. So when you have a people that pays so much attention to horses and their upbringing, you could definitely say that they find them beautiful. That's all from the realm of horses and the ones that stand out for their beauty over the others. Which of these horses do you agree look amazing? And would you try and get one of these horses upon its looks alone? Do you know of another horse species that should be on this list? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.